Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Okay. That's yeah, all. nothing else? Of course, Commander. Does Rex has anything to say? If not, we are instantly gonna go to the command center. Shepard and this alliance is off. But just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. That's just what I wanted to kind of bring up to how... I mean, I understand Rex's situation. It's effed up. He described that good. The thing is, the bomb has been planted there centuries ago, right? Or did I understand that wrongly in the last episode? It hasn't been planted there... He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. It's not that I'm volunteering for bomb... Okay, investigate Cerebro's presence. That's what we do before, do before we go to, um, dealing with the genophage. The thing is, I do not know the current Turians, or which are alive here, don't do that, right? Or didn't do that. How can you... I don't know. It's a, philosoph a hard thing, right? A hard question to answer. Probably you can't, or we can't answer that. Anyways, confirm. And... Cryo ammo. Maybe I should do that all the time in between. Rank 4. Increase 3. Cryo. Yep, we go there. And then we go through. She has an upgrade 2, but the warp ammo is rank 3. Nothing. Oh, okay. Anyways, I wanted to. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. I'll try to do my best. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. This I can do. And that is then actually the only shot we are able to get, you know, let, get out of the planet if the Shatner sh weapon is deactivated, right? And I... Keep track of it, Lieutenant. But I do not see that we have a time limit, right? What am I complaining about, right? Oh, my boy. The best thing would be if I would actually get up there, since that would nullify their cover. Although it's nice that they do attack us too, or come down too. To 
and that is where we are headed to boys not that we want to follow you anything else all ammunition full that is what I would that is always what I like to see control center secure then I think it's time to test this can will do will do come on but that would be too easy right not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find No, I can't do anything here, right? No, nothing to do. Okay. On it go. Wait. Wasn't this where we fought before? It was, right? I'm maximum confused, if I'm honest. Okay. Did I? I probably did oversee a button, right? Which would be too bad. Oh, hello. Configuration. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. Yep. Liara, please get out of the way. Liara! Oh boy, come on! Oh girl, lady, forgive me. Standing all in our way, right? That ain't cool. Headshot. So the weapon upgrades have been very, very neat, I have to say. Should take cover. Yep, um, why did I focus on the turret? Obviously, through its high fire rate, it is kind of annoying to f well, not to fight, but it does do a little tiny bit of damage, which I think is kind of not so cool. Now, if only, if only, I... There we go. Now, I... Wait, do I, do I need to do something? Oh, there's... Ah, okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. My aim. Oftentimes, top-notch. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. And I do guess we are gonna get some friends coming by on the way there to join in the party. Oh yeah, and I've already seen a shield guy. Again, top-notch aiming. Now, reloaded, that was good. Well. Alright, two, but back to the Windicator. Alright, I see. If that is the way to fight them, then I am good to go. Yeah, no, that, oh, that was alright, that was actually exactly what I wanted to do. Anyways, up we go. Yep, these were, at least the first one was a luck headshot, but I take it. Good, before we do anything, ammunition. 
And then go. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. Dead and buried. All right. Good work, everyone. That was good. That was kind of easy. Good. Missions which fit in one episode. Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy is pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Nice. A hundred thousand? Okay, good. I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain. Okay, Krogan, that's new. And Krogan First Division. The Krogan First Division is a conglomerate. I know the word. Conglomeration of infantry and vehicle hastily organized into a single coalition force. The chain of command is divided by clan with representatives from each serving as officer. Despite ancient differences, fighting the Reaper together is building a spirit of ca um, camaraderie among the recent warriors. Krogan from different clans are starting to swap equipment, stories and even the occasional barrel of wrinkle. Mm -hmm. Turian um, Turian Blackwatch, a team of exceptionally skilled special ops soldiers, Blackwatch is sent on missions that threaten the safety of Palawan itself. It was pulled from the homeworld by order of Primac Adrian Victors, who wanted a mob to mobilize this elite force in less hopeless situation across the galaxy. Situations across the galaxy. The majority of Blackwatch operations are classified, although it's generally accepted that they have the highest success rate of any Turian unit in history. They are, there are rumors that Sarian Arterius was part of the Blackwatch before becoming a Spectra, although given his youth when he joined the Turian army, it seems highly unlikely. So did I do anything else? No? Okay, good, good, good. That means... Yes, Commander. That's all. Of course, Commander. No conversations. That means we can already put into progress the next mission. We still have around two minutes. I think there should be enough to actually get the mission briefing started for the cure for the Krogan. And the mission then will be hopefully completed in tomorrow's episode. Now, that's the plan. Do I? Okay, good. Fair enough. I don't complain. Galaxy map. Open it up, please. And that. Let's get All cracking. Hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the Genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you.
Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Oh boy. I cannot condemn them. That is what I think right now. And I do not want to condemn them. But you guys, we will go on here and... Oh, I cannot take... Re <gasps> okay, good. I thought we had maybe more companions coming, but obviously not. So we are going to take Javik and Liara with us. But you guys, that we are going to do in the next episode. For now, you know it. I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next beautiful and wonderful episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty.